Hello guys, welcome back. So, we have been uh, making some solid progress and uh, this one is uh, kind of an important one. It's uh, rather more cosmetic than functional. It will still heat up, um, but it'll heat up faster, uh, which means per burn you get more, uh, uh, more steam. Uh, if the lime scale inside is removed, it's also unsightly through the end glass here. And if I just use a torch just to sort of shine into the, uh, the the back here you can see inside that there is a fair bit of lime scale actually in this so clearly someone's used tap water uh, so I shall be removing that uh, not with vinegar or any other sort of cheap and allegedly uh, better uh, descaling products I'm going to use a descaler that is specifically designed for coffee machines electric kettles and washing machines so I am confident that as long as I do not leave this to sit in here overnight, this will be completely without damage to the boiler itself. You'll notice I have a little funnel here. This funnel and the fact that there is nothing in either of the other two holes will allow me to easily fill this up all the way to the top and then easily drain back into this large jug. The mixture in this is 50ml uh, of descaler to 500ml of liquid and literally what we're going to do is pour it in and um, wait five ten minutes pour it out inspect pour it in again if necessary wait five ten minutes pour it out inspect until it's all gone absolutely minimum time though certainly not going to uh, leave it in any longer than it needs to be you can see it filling up there just in the uh, sight glass Half full now. I've got it on this plastic tray so that if I do overfill it very slightly, it's not going to matter. And there's unlikely to be any lime scale in the very, very top anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. That will do us for now. I'm going to sit here and keep an eye on this, so I'm just going to fast wind this for your benefit. One of the really nice things about these uh, Velesco models with a um, a glass on the end is of course that you can you can illuminate through the top holes and it's not particularly clear but you can see the white spots there uh, on the bottom right and more white spots on the uh, lower left hand side that's the remaining uh, that's the remaining lime scale in this boiler at this particular time so other than the unsightly bit around the edge of the glass which is disappearing rapidly I can see very very clearly how long it's going to take before this is uh, this is finished. So that's been around about four four and a half minutes on this particular application. I'm going to uh, keep a very very close eye on this. And as I say, just the second that it uh, that it stops fizzing, and if you can just about see the uh, the, the circulation that's going on there, the particles. Uh, that have been loosened off and the gas bubbles that are being formed. There you go, that's the view right to the back of the cylinder, the boiler there. So you can see a line across the uh, about a quarter of the way up on the back wall there that corresponds with the heavy deposits on the front as well. So when it boils down to that level and this particular concentration of lime scale in the water, I guess that's the point at which it starts to deposit. Uh, having been concentrated down, so let's, uh, keep a very close eye on that. Once that's uh, once that's disappeared, um, then I'll, uh, as I say, rinse this out very very carefully straight away. Okay, I'm 
just going to try and agitate that last big chunk there with a uh, straightened out paper clip in this front hole. I'm very careful not to scratch the glass. There we go. Let's loosen off a nice big lump of it. Well, again, being really careful not to scratch the glass. I'm starting with paper clip on the glass and flicking away into the cylinder. It's quite a gentle action this stuff. Um, the instructions recommend leaving it for 40 minutes. Uh, I am electing to take it out and uh, assess the, the state of the cylinder with every 10 minutes that go by. So uh, as I say, pretty gentle approach. Um, as with everything in restoring these, patience is the key. Try and rush anything, this just isn't going to work. It's never going to be satisfactory. If you take your time, use the right materials, the right equipment, even if that right equipment is a bent paperclip, then uh, you'll get the results you're after.